Hi, I'm Yolanda Armstrong and I'm a painter. I usually work in acrylic um, on board and I like acrylic because it's fast, it dries fast. You can make work fast and I usually do a very splashy underpainting and then hone in on fine detail later. My work does keep a roughness though. I'm a figurative painter because I'm interested in human beings and I'm interested in questions of identity and uh, the roughness in my work is um, sort of maybe subverts realism and opens up more possibilities. My work is sometimes apparently unfinished or different parts are painted in a different way and somehow it's a way of asking questions. I've been working for quite a long time on the theme of beasts and what is a beast asking? What is a beast? As humans we are beasts, but we can be more beastly than any other creatures. We can be more cruel. We can also be more creative and, and wonderful. Um, but it's if we label something a beast, is it because it's rough and ugly? Does that make it a beast? It's a question of wildflower and weed. Um, which is which? And what does labelling, what effect does labelling have on how we treat something or somebody? I've recently started a new series since the lockdown based on the government's um, instructions not to touch our faces or to touch other people. And um, this is one that might be finished. It's uh, called Dirty Girls. And it's about the sort of um, danger, the scariness of making contact with other people. We need that as human beings. Babies don't thrive if they don't get touched and hugged. Um, yet it can be very difficult and at the moment particularly very dangerous to touch other people. Uh, what does that do to us when we can't? We can self-soothe through touch, we can self-harm through touch and this new work is looking at those things. People say that my work is dark and it's right. I don't want to avoid the difficult questions and I'm a feminist and a political activist and always will be. So that's where my work comes from. But I also want to make work which has beauty and suggests the beauty of our world, our natural world and our human world. And work which offers redemptive possibilities.